Hey there viewers, welcome back to the Self Made Auto Channel. We're going to 2011 Honda with the Pilot. It's got the big 3.5 and then these new front lower control arms. Uh, actually the rear bushings, a great big bushing in the back of these is they're beat right out of it. So it makes the car kind of a monster to drive. You step on the gas, pulls hard to the left and off the gas and it flies back to the right. Uh, wasn't a customer complaint when he brought it in, but I made him aware of it and he says he does want it fixed. You can buy just the rear bushings on these control arms. They're almost the cost of the entire arm. So we elected to do the whole arm, you know, nearing 200,000 miles, original ball joints, original arms, original bushings. Uh, it only makes sense. So let's get after it. Well, there's our nut for the lower ball joint. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of non-existent. It's pretty crusty. Uh, we already did the other side. On that side, we did, um, you know, pull the cotter pin out. We tried sticking a wrench on it, but it was just crumbling. These are a great big flange nut. Uh, instead of fiddling with it with wrenches, we're just gonna take the torch and we're gonna split the front half off it. We'll split the back half off it and then just knock it out of there and save a bunch of time. Fire pull Vic here. I'm going to start on the bottom, just cut the bottom flange. That's the thickest part. On the inside, do the same thing. Ah, now we did it. Oh, there it goes. Plugged up our tip. That'll screw us up a little bit here because we already got this hot now, so. Should be good at this point. We'll grab a hammer and a chisel and see if we can knock the tabs out of there. McCoy's gonna knock that off for us. I might have to come on this side here, McCoy, yeah. Left side of it now, right in there. I should take it off. There you go. Look at that. We didn't even nick a thread. Get that out of there. So, whoops. So there's that. That's what that baby looks like. All right, sweet. Now we'll pickle fork that down because we don't care about the ball joint. Oh yeah, first try. We'll pull this down with the uh, control arm tool here. That looks like that. There we go. Catch that right there. Perfect. All right, go ahead and line her up. Say we don't care about this ball joint, so we can let it hit the knuckle or whatever. And now we got the work on the bolts, get the bolts out of it. loose and we'll pull that out. Yeah. 
So there's two bolts that come up through from the bottom here. There's those. And then the pisser is up on top, this aluminum block that goes through on this rear bushing. There's one of the rear, or the sway bar bushings here, one of the rear bolts on that goes in from the top, kind of a stink pot to get to. So this is where the little guy lives. This is the, the welded nut here that holds the uh, two bolts that come through from the bottom. And then this bolt here, we just gotta run a pick around it, make sure it's not a little stone. The other side there had a little stone in there. It made it possible to get the socket on. That one feels good. 14 mil. We're gonna see if we can't get a socket over that with a swivel. That's what we did on the other side and it worked out pretty good. Whoa. So the problem is the 14 mil, whoops, doesn't fit on it anymore. Um, and it's hard to get back in there with a hammer to tap, to tap this on. And it just doesn't quite fit. So, what we're gonna try is one of these little guys right here. It's your classic 14.5 millimeter. I don't know if it'll fit, but hopefully it will. Felt like a glove. Here we wiggle that out. So Astro Tools came out with these uh, half size sockets for situations like this. It's a 14 and a half mil. They got a whole row of them, or a whole rack of half sizes. See if we can't just crack it loose first. Well, flex that ratchet and a swivel. That's convenient. And a camera right in the way. Oops. Once we put a little pressure on it with that 14 and a half, it might crush the rust off there enough where we can actually get it with a 14. Mother of pearl. Uh, let's see if we can't wiggle our 14 down on there now. I am gonna have to move the camera then, folks. It's super awkward. Let's see. Let's see if we got enough rust off it now to get that on there. Oh yeah, we did. Look at that. That was helpful. Okay, now we got the right size on there. Let me move you folks. If this bolt shears off, it's not that big a deal. As long as it shears off flush down in the aluminum, that would be nice. It's not feeling real promising. Well, maybe. This side, we might have been able to get in there with a straight socket. Let me, uh, let me see that hammerhead here. Whoops. Oh, 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 oh. Bumping into people. Whoops, you gotta have enough lead in its pencil. I'll give it a try. No mercy reversey. No mercy reversey swivel hammerhead IR with a chrome socket. I should trigger some comments. So here's our brand new arm. This one's made by you know who. Uh, so we've been trying to make the transition from using the Napa chassis parts because we've had such bad luck with, with them. Um, Mevo, Mevotech makes the Napa chassis line 
and they're absolute garbage and we're just getting sick of warranty and stuff six months after we put it on so we're gonna see in the aftermarket how Moog does. Um, everybody, all the other parts stores around here sell Moog. So uh, in that, of course, they sell their store brands, which we usually don't use. Um, so to put this in without chance of messing up our ball joint, I guess I can put that nut back on there. Uh, we want to loosen up this rear bushing. So we're gonna zippy zap that nut off. that back on the loose. We'll take our 24 socket here. We have to kind of give it a whack to get it off the spline there. So there's that. It's not spline per se, uh, but the bolt that comes through the control arm here has just a little bit of spline sticking out, just enough to bind this up if we put it in all the way. So we just want to leave this loose and then when we get the car at ride height, We'll tighten this how it needs to be. Uh, let's make sure these bushing here, these little metal washers around here, if these fall off, they have a slot in them that you need to line up on the back there. So they do only go on the one way. It's only the way they're supposed to go on, rather. So let's slip it up in there. And then, like I say, with this being loose, that'll allow us to have the arm hanging down so we don't worry about, you know, busting up our boot. Slips your head nice. And we want to make sure we're going to start all these bolts by hand. We got them lubed up with a little bit of food film. But we don't want to tighten them up all the way just yet. Before we tighten those up, we're gonna, you know, everything's kind of loose here. We're gonna go up top and make sure that we can line up the bolt for the sway bar. So that one did line right up. I'm gonna get the torque wrench up in here. All right, she's torqued to factory specs. Now we can snug everything else up. Before we do all that, we'll get our ball joint in here. We hold that back just a little bit there. All right, go ahead. Let's see your 17 there. I'll drink here. Get this thing snugged up. It's a 19 mil actually. That little guy's torque to spec. We'll stick the cutter pin in it. You guys can't even criticize me for how to bend it because this is not a bendy kind. So we've torqued the uh, ball joint factory specs. Of course, the sway bar link, you guys watch this torque that. And then now these two here, 119. And those two are fixed. The bushing swivels back here. Uh, no, they're not 119, they're 69. And uh, so when we set it down, then we'll tighten this you know, bushing back here, and then this front one right here. Both of those are 119 foot-pounds. So once we get that torqued, we'll let it down, floor jack, get at it, ride height, and uh, jam them down. Okay, just a second. Yeah, that looks good. So we'll jack this up till the 
vehicle hits ride height, it'll usually start picking it off the lift at that point. All right, that's good right there. And then we're gonna, like I say, we're gonna torque that front one 119, and then I'll do the same thing on this back nut here. Yeah, don't say what you were gonna say. I see myself. We're getting McCoy using a torque wrench. Torque wrench. Yeah. Yeah. Make a YouTube video, so. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep it good. You gotta keep it right for the people. Yep. Oops, sorry, nope. that was me. They beep. Oh, they do? Yeah. Right, never mind. It's 2024, Andy. I didn't know. I'm still back in 1972. And then the back one, we've already uh, torqued that factory spec off camera, of course, so you have to believe us on that. That's it, folks. Front lower control arms on your Hondu. Hopefully these ones last longer than the NAP ones we were buying. But yeah, we've been having a terrible, terrible time with uh, the NCP, the NAPA chassis premium line. Uh, been just absolute trash for us, so we're just and who knows, I, I probably should have done my research and see who makes them for Moog. Um, I was happy to see they were made in Taiwan, not China. Uh, usually the, you know, Taiwanese and Japanese uh, suspension parts we've had a lot better luck with. And, you, and, and oftentimes we'll just, we'll go OEM or we'll get the 3.5 Senki parts. Those are really good. Um, but we'll see, time will tell. And like I say, you can buy these bushings separate, and that's what goes bad. These these will eat right out when you step on the gas. Boy, that whole whole control arm will pop right through there. Uh, so not not too uncommon. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. All right, we're done. Well, that's it, folks. I'm gonna take. I gotta run a drive cycle on this thing. I had to put a couple uh, oil pressure switches in it for the valve pause system. Pretty common. Your P3 uh, P34. Zero, zero on your Hondus. Um, probably tons of videos on that on the internet. They have a service bolt-in on it. Common issue, easy fix. Um, so I'm gonna go do that, and then we're gonna have my guy Josh do the uh, wheel alignment on it, make sure everything's cool after changing the control arm. So that's it. Why don't you guys be cool in that comment section? Questions, comments, find us in Steve Facebook. And just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.